Hello everyone, Sons of Duck 2, welcome to another Fabric Mod overview, this time on Durability Bakes. A mod that simply adds in two things. You've got the Durability Banks sort of item, and you've got the Charger for charging them with lapis. So, what you want to do is obviously make an empty Durability Bank made simply with gold ingots, gold blocks, and glass, and the Charger itself is made with gold, lapis block, and iron ingots. So we'll just put our durability bank in here and we'll put one lapis in. And as you can see it'll process and we can see that it'll also apply only 100 per one lapis. So you can obviously put up to five lapis and it'll charge that up completely. And uh, we want to actually do that while we're at it just to see what happens and then use a few swords to demonstrate what it's capable of. Once it's ready, of course. Shouldn't be too long now. Otherwise, we'll test if it is capable of being used with hoppers, which I think it probably would be. But we'll see. So, there we go. A bank. And get a lapis. So let's see, that's already out. It's just going to pass straight through, isn't it? Yep. Okay, if we do that. Oops, there's another one. That'll do its thing. i just keep passing it through. So, yep, fair enough. Just want to make sure. Anyways, other than that, we've obviously got our durability bank. And then when we use something like a sword here for example, or let's say certain things it doesn't need to be used on, you're able to use your durability bank in certain situations to obviously have durability come off the bank instead of the actual thing you're using. So let's see, I'm going to use twice as much, and let's see, when held every item will you use instead of their durability. Now I'm pretty sure it's not just using the bank on a block, you do actually need to have it in your offhand, I'm pretty sure, to activate this. There we go. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense in that if it's just near your hotbar. And it's not doing it there, clearly. So, stuck at 39, and that's at 496, 194. And if we use this on something that's more relevant, like say a shovel, so that's it full, and that's it. That, and I'll just use one. So it will use the appropriate durability depending on what you're doing. So if it's actually supposed to be broken with it, it'll use one. If it's not the inappropriate tool to use for it, it'll break with two durability. And you can see none of it is going on the wooden shovel now. And that pretty much almost, pretty much almost makes any tool or anything else you have um, have 500 durability as well as the extra of this that hasn't even been used up yet or whatever you last left your actual tool or armor or anything else at. So I'll actually try this with some armor, so just go diamond armor for example. We'll see if this can also work as well with that or it is just tools. So uh, let's see where we're at. So I'm going to cactus because it's probably the best way to demonstrate stuff like this I find. And we'll just do this and this. And we've got 488. And we've now got 484. So it will protect armor as well. Now, obviously, I think that's everything because I can't test health on that or certain armor on that in the case of horses, I think. Um, and everything else, and that would make sense whether you use a bow or you do this, that, and the other. And it's not going to prevent like arrows or something. So. I think that's probably everything, but either way, anything that has durability will most likely be used up here for durability rather than the actual um, tool, weapon, item, etc. itself. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.